Hey, what's up guys? If you didn't already know, Flutter just got a new update a few days ago and we're at 3.3 now. And there was one feature in particular that I was really excited about and that is that Flutter can now use Scribble. Now, if you don't know what Scribble is, it's actually a Apple Pencil related technology which converts handwriting into text. And so Scribble itself is actually not a new thing. It already exists in iPads right now, but this change essentially allows you to use Scribble in your Flutter apps, which is just freaking amazing. And on top of that, it's super easy to use. Like I can't believe how easy it is to use it. So all you need to do is upgrade your Flutter to version 3.3 and it will be enabled by default in any text field. So this is going to be the easiest tutorial of my life, but I'll show you anyway. So I've upgraded my Flutter to 3.3, like I said, and all I have is in my homepage, I just have a scaffold and in the middle, I have a text field. So you don't need to do any extra changes to how you would normally code text fields. So a text field is obviously if you tap on it, it will show up a keyboard. But now if we're working on an iPad and the user has an Apple Pencil, they can now use Scribble to actually hand write things in. And so I've actually got this loaded up on my iPad. And let me change this camera view so I can show you. Okay, here's my iPad and that was our code that we had earlier. And so it's just a blank text field. Okay, I'm just going to start typing now. Actually, you can actually um, tap on it. And like I said, the keyboard will show up by default. But now let's get rid of this keyboard and I'm going to start writing. Cool. And it got everything. It actually didn't get my exclamation mark. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> there we go. So obviously the actual text styling you can change in your code like usual, but just the fact that we can have an Apple Pencil input and the handwriting to text is, is pretty much an AI problem that, you know, as a developer, you don't want to have to develop yourself. So we'll just use Apple's technology in our Flutter apps. And that's it. That's the end. That was the easiest tutorial I've ever had to make in my life. Now, I've actually been thinking about this the last few days, just about the iPad, Apple Pencil. Um, I've always been focused so much on making a mobile app that my brain is starting to think about the possibilities of what you could make on an iPad for an for a Apple Pencil or just any stylus input because it's something about that natural handwriting I find kind of interesting. And so one thought I've had, I'm very much into teaching math and so I've always, I'm always thinking about, I wish they had a handwriting to text, but it's not just the English language. It's actually the math symbol. So I wish that was something that I had. So I'm actually curious to hear what anyone's opinion is on any ideas when it comes to the iPad Apple Pencil, because now in your Flutter app, we can accept handwriting to text with this new Scribble update. So what are some possible, what are some possibilities Let's just have some ideas going because I was just sitting down brainstorming the other day. Well, yesterday because of this new update. And I just think it's kind of cool. The fact that we can now accept handwriting in our Flutter app. So yeah, if you guys have any cool ideas, let's talk about it in the comments. But yeah, other than that, that's it for this video. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>